Hi guys, my name is Vuvu and this is Vuvu Vena Reads. If you are new on here, please consider pressing that red subscribe button down below and joining the family. And if you are a returnee, a member of the fam bam, welcome back fam and thank you for joining me once again. As you can tell from the title, I have bought myself a Kindle. And if you are curious about me opening, unboxing the situation, etc, etc, please do stay tuned. So Vuvu Vena? underscore reads is an amazing book reviewer also youtuber she reviews books on youtube and if i'm not mistaken she also has a blog as well so please if for your connection with literature get in touch with or follow at v u v u v e n a underscore reads she is based in south africa and i think it is also extremely important to follow literary content creators who are based outside of who are based outside of the west and in continental africa because they do a really good job of Bridging the gap. We appreciate you, Vuvu, for bringing us turning pages and for bringing us your booktube channel. You know, this is a chance for people to actually see some people that I really enjoy. Please consider pressing the red subscribe button down below. And if you're a returnee, welcome back, fam. Vuvu, you're amazing. Thank you so much for your time. All right, I feel like I haven't done a sit down video in such a long time, and I'm absolutely loving this fun. Hey now, this might be our new spot. I mean, right? It's giving, it's giving. I love it. So you guys saw in my previous vlog, and you probably also saw in the last sprints of 2023 that my girlies gifted me with a takeout voucher. So I decided to take the opportunity and buy myself a Kindle. I've been eyeing it for the longest time, right? I had different types of Kindles saved in my wish list. I had negotiated a way in which I would get it because here's the thing, if you are a mom, right, you know that you come lost when it comes to anything cute, beautiful, special, gifty, you know, but this Christmas I was like, no child, no, no, no ma'am, no, no sir. It's my turn. It's my turn now. So anyway, um, the Kindle was on special. Uh, I think I saved about a grand, right? Um, because they are doing this whole December special thing on Take A Lot. And then um, my friends had gifted me with the voucher. So I made a saving on that. So I literally, if we're going to go math it, right? I got this for a steal because I only paid about a third of what was necessary to own one and in case you were wondering i think i might have it on the thumbnail as well this is the 10th generation no i did not go with the latest one but it is a paper white and it is the 10th generation and you know what when i looked at the differences and compared them etc i was like it's all right it's all right we can go a generation lower i i have no qualms and besides this is my first e-reader Ever, I was kind of harassing my little sister who has an e-reader that she got from my dad a few years ago So my dad loves shopping online in case <laughs> you were wondering but he He buys random things that he ends up giving away. I think he just loves the thrill of Shopping online. So it was one of those random things that he bought and my sister happened to be the lucky one So she got it and I was harassing her because she hasn't been using it for years literally and the reason why I was doing that is because I really do not like Carrying because when I go home, you must bear in mind we drive home, right? And I must pack for my kids. I must pack for myself I must take anything that I want to leave back home I must take and in previous years I've been working as well. So I must take my work stuff I must take my journals. It just becomes a lot of stuff. This is not to say Before you guys come for me that I will not be taking hard copies of books. No, 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 no That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I love the fact that I have an option now I have an option and until I get used to this new option um, I will still be carrying these physicals, but I really am excited for this year's Christmas gift <laughs> Merry Christmas <Fubu. laughs> So here's the packaging So like I said, this is the 10th generation and it isn't black. They don't have any other colors in the paper white, right? Um, I think that the 10th generation other models, they did have um, like your denim blue. I think that's what I saw. And then I don't know which generations it is, but they did have white. Um, shall I focus? They did have white. Um, 
you know what I'm saying okay so this is what's inside this is what's inside and let me just rip it off rip it off in case you guys were wondering this is the charging cable it doesn't come with the like head but then this would fit into any um charging head you might have and this looks like your like android chargers hmm, it's definitely gonna not gonna focus so that's like your android chargers and okay this is the kindle that we got as soon as it all shall okay thank you thank you so it's so nice and cute and tiny i absolutely love it let's rip off that Ooh, that's the best sound ever okay so this is the back i'm just examining it okay okay i did not buy like a screen protector situation thing here i think i might need it but anyway let's turn on this bad boy i'm just trying to see if there's nothing i'm missing okay 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 so trying to turn it on sure i'm assuming that's the on button Could this be it telling me that I need to charge? Because ooh, then my bottom is beyond. Because I'm already sitting here, right? I might as well try and see if that's what it means. And let me just charge it. While I charge it, I'm going to entertain you with a little bit of a story time. In case you guys were wondering why mine came in this kind of packaging it is a refurbished kindle which i absolutely do not mind um i am looking down am I not? okay i'm just trying to charge maybe i should just leave it in calm down leave it in and check in after my story time. The thing is, I don't know if I can tell if it's charging or not. The screen doesn't look like it's glass that I can tell you for free. So I'm not saying it can't break, but I don't think that you have too much to worry about. Okay, let me just ignore it for a little bit it feels good to the touch though i will let you guys know that much anyway so um the story time is actually about being given cash as a gift right or money as a gift or whatever vouchers whatever it may be so i'm one of those people that think that when that does happen it is something that you should use like for something meaningful obviously to you because the money was given to you so it must be something that you gift yourself so when the girls gave me the voucher i already going off in my head i'm like the kids need school bags i need good quality school bags i could get two off of this that that would last us a while and then i did say to them that listen this is my problem whenever i see money it's never really for me it's always for my kids so i really do want to do something for myself this time around so just hold on to the voucher until i've decided what i want and literally i went to sleep woke up and i knew exactly what i needed to get and this was it but besides that it just reminded me of when my mom um retired so she had this little ceremony that she did right she called all four of us um all her kids into her room and she literally literally we don't do that anymore 
most banks don't do that anymore she had a checkbook and she wrote as uh checks of the same value and she was on some okay um she's she's basically retiring and she just wanted to to give us these gifts and i was at a time in my life where like money money was very hard to come by i don't want to lie to you guys i was really in a bind right i was expecting my my i'd newly become a single parent i was expecting my daughter my my boy was very young and he had hectic allergies right so all my money was going towards getting him sorted out and i was like okay 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 you know what a girl be hungry i could use this money for to just settle in and be okay but i was like i really do want something to remember her by and this gesture by and i think that's the thing with me and the vouchers and the money etc i really need to buy something tangible that i will always look at and remember a person by so i got myself my first ever dining room table i'm sure you guys have seen it as that glass um silver situation and those were in at the time and for the life of me i doubt i'll ever get rid of it okay because my mom's now late in case you didn't know and it constantly it's like a a thing in memory of her that is in my house and i absolutely love it to death so from the girls i got this and it's definitely always gonna be one of those things that when i touch when i fiddle with i'll just keep remembering the sisterhood that got me my first kindle if it will charge child so let's take five and let's see what's going on here okay so let me confess i did take a moment to charge the damn thing okay um turns out we are load shedding even though there was no notice on this so now it makes me seem like i had a blonde moment which i did um it has oh i missed the because it just showed me that i can now fiddle with it right so i had to charge it on my laptop but i missed the tree <laughs> But anyway, let's go ahead and try and set this up for you guys. So I'm choosing English. It's asking me to choose a language. Uh, I'm using English United Kingdom uh, instead of the US. That's the next option. Um, right? So that's what I chose. Uh, I didn't even like go and fix myself a drink. That's how long I've been gone. Okay that is how long i've been gone after this i'm gonna leave it oh there we go there's my tree it's just loading up um so let me calm down because it took forever okay so we are load shading like i'm saying it's powering up and um we're gonna set it up and then we're gonna have a um, chit chat All right, so in case you guys were wondering, I just don't want to miss moments in this, and I also want to multitask. <laughs> Let me just behave myself and just like, like I said, calm down, have a drink, chat, have a drink. I've got water over here, but this is what I needed. Huh. Okay, so I've got myself the eight gigs. This is the tenth generation. Like I said, it is six inches. Um. Ooh, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Wi-Fi connection. Okay, let me connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, yes. Ooh, you know I've been looking at reviews saying that it's not so fast, but so far, on my end, I really feel like it is doing the things. Mm, do I? Do I want to? Uh. It says, should I save my password? No, let me hide it. Let me not save it. Connect. My Wi-Fi password to Amazon. I don't know how comfortable I am with that. So it is connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to press a next. So it says it's connecting to Amazon. So it requires your Amazon email address and password, obviously. So um, I use the same email address for my, I've got the Kindle app on my phone, right? I don't have a lot of books on there, but I do intend now, obviously, to buy some more or use um, Kindle Unlimited. I'm still deciding. 
these are the books that i have on this one was sent to me by an author a long time ago this one was bought by somebody for me um and then these are doodoo's two books that i'm sampling and this is the one that i once read on kindle and absolutely loved i own a hard copy of it now and in case you were wondering it is at night all blood is black by david diop i think that's his surname yes it is an african author absolutely loved that book give it five stars whenever you have a moment do look out for it okay it's very good let me just put in my email address and password okay this thing is very light let me just let you guys know also very very light which i absolutely love because if you are going to be reading on it you do want that um we don't want to get any couple tunnel right now it says that i have 14 percent worth of battery so um that's 14 not 40 did i say 40 uh, okay i meant 14 and um i'm hoping it's gonna be enough to kind of like get us started it is pretty intuitive i don't want to lie to you guys um loving it loving it so it's asking me to verify my account so it's gonna send me a code i'm assuming maybe to my email for additional security please visit the amazon site listed below um on your phone or tablet or computer and enter the verification verification code okay so it's okay get code get code i'm gonna do it on my phone okay let me see all righty no problem let's do it let's do it um i might have put it under amazon there we go so code that's what it wanted me to say at the end if you guys don't mind okay let me just type it out www.amazon.com forward slash code is what they ask you to use you've got um basically 10 minutes to put in your code that would be me thank you very much yes hi hi yo there are codes everywhere in ghost jess so now they have this uh one time or yes one time pin so okay okay continue we're doing a lot child we're doing more than we thought we would do now i can only put in this code d okay i don't think it matters that i tell you guys what the code is but you know you never know you never really actually know so better safe than sorry continue you you have registered your device well done okay your registration is now complete so tell me it says my registration is not complete let's go let's go okay in case you were wondering this is what i'm doing I'm trying to get that code guys can you see this this is basically the same okay never mind hello vuvu that's me <laughs> yes okay that would be me welcome to your new kindle paper white you logged in and connected okay it's sharing my um wi-fi name am i not vuvu definitely i am are you using a different card no i'm not so next show me <laughs> get the kindle app get important device alerts um i already have one automatically sync your library and never be without your book with free kindle app on ios and android enter your mobile number to receive a text with a link um i've already got it should i enter the thing is okay i think i'm gonna figure out how to sync without entering because i don't like this kind of yeah okay so now it's asking me do i want to link to my goodreads 
you know this year if i'm being honest i have kind of boycotted boycotted my goodreads because i have been reading a few indie authors in south africa and some of them are not on there and it's such a schlep to put their books on kindle yourself i'm um, not kindle on um goodreads yourself and it really 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 is mm, annoys me to no end but let me say create a sign in not with a different email address do i have a different email address? use your amazon account to sign in na, 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 na. use another email to sign into goodreads but why doesn't these things these things in case you guys haven't noticed it really did mess with my mojo this whole thing but i'm asking myself why doesn't this device ask you if you already have the things that it wants you to sign up for for example you should be able to click already existing in the kindle app and as well as goodreads but okay let me sign in with a Ooh, okay let me go back actually it's gonna take me a bit because i did change up my passwords recently so let me just go back back to me i'm gonna say no thanks for now uh this means therefore that i do owe you guys like a quick review maybe after a month a pros and cons and what um what my complete setup was right now we are trying to just set up the situation so it says here if I do 30 days now, I don't want to do 30 days today. Um, it says, Kindle Unlimited, enjoy unlimited access to over 4 million ebooks, thousands of audiobooks, and a selection of popular magazines. Um, 30 day free trial, it renews at $11.99 per month afterwards right so right now um i don't like doing subscriptions like before or way after my payday right because i tell that money child i am trying to child the money okay so i'm thinking let me set up my 30 days and then i'm gonna close it off test it out right so that i can also come back to you guys and let you guys know how it it went and then um i'll set it up again after payday I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna say start my free trial you're close to starting your free trial membership the card will be charged with 11.99 US dollars every month plus any applicable taxes at the end of any promotions or special deals you've accepted or until cancelled whichever happens first cancel anytime how would you like to pay after your free trial ends so there's an option that says use your amazon gift card balance when available before charging any other payment method so i am in south africa like i said we hardly use amazon so no i do not have any amazon gift cards and then it says um I should use my visa card ending with whatever and i don't think that's the one i'm gonna use girl it's taking a hot minute okay and i'm so excited i actually want to i don't think this is the one i used on here i actually actually want to start on it now but i need to learn to be patient i'm just checking if this is the card that um like is it the correct card the one that i used the last time because there was a winner i had on my channel a few i want to say last year actually um that i bought an amazon um voucher for so i don't know if this is the card that i had used for them because then uh no yes yes okay sure okay talk about being advanced all right okay so it's processing that i'm trying to see if it's gonna ask me for anything else um okay it used that let me log off continue okay let me log off i hate being what did it take money off my account why am I getting a message a massage? Oh, it took zero zero. Zero 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 rands. Okay. So it says now welcome to Kindle Unlimited. 
as you can see okay your membership has started we will send you an email with details of your membership you can also visit amazon blah 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 to access your membership okay continue i hope that information is going to be available in the email because i'm not going to remember that email address i mean well that web address <laughs> Hmm. So I was updating something. Introducing the Kindle experience. This tour will help you learn how to navigate your Kindle features. I'm asking you guys for two seconds so that I can see what they talk about. They've got three slides for me, okay? Click access to settings, tap it off, swipe down to quickly access controls like airplane mode, sync, all settings, and more, okay? Tap on home to discover new books and content. Tap on library for content you already have. Okay. Ooh. Would you look at that? So it looks like we set up. Okay. It looks like we set up. So it's showing me my Audible. Audible library. So with Audible, what I usually do is that I stop and start, right? If there's a book that I really, really want to be able to excess and i do not have it on script i will subscribe maybe for a month on audible read the book listen to the book whatever the case might be and then pull back so i think i'll be doing the same thing with kindle unlimited because eventually those things do stay in your library so there's nothing there to really worry about so if i go to your library my library obviously on um audible it will show you the books that i have on here so i've got Beloved Toni Morrison, which I'm definitely rereading. I've got Mame by Jessica George. I've got Where the Crowdads Sing. Um, and then it's also showing me my Kindle app or Kindle. So it's showing me the audio and the book. Okay. So I've got the All Blood is Black. Oh, at night, All Blood is Black. Okay. I've got Shadow King by Maza Mangesi. Um, and I also want to reread that one. I've got The Horse and the Boy that is one of the uh, Chronicles of Narnia books that I was listening to at some point when I had Kindle. I've got, oh, I love this one so much, uh, on Audible, Anxious People. I've got The 5am Club. I've got The Handmaid's Tale. And then the book that was sent to me by Sonia Frontera a few years back was Solve the Divorce Dilemma. And then I've got Fix Your Network Marketing Business. That's the other book that was sent to me. And for some reason, there's dictionaries on here. Okay, I don't have much on my list. And if you are an Audible person, you will realize that the books, obviously, um, do not Audible Kindle. They're all in black and white. This does not have any color. Now, let me figure this out. Chair. So. Okay. So I see that it's got... Uh, it's already synced as it, it, it seems but let me sync again just in case it's already synced um, My airplane mode is off my Bluetooth is off. It's got an option here For me to choose whether or not I want dark mode. I'm sure you can see let me just fiddle with that um, Okay, so if I go dark mode it goes dark obviously and if I press that dark mode option again it gives me the light okay and then i can press brightness so mine doesn't have warmth so the 10 doesn't have warmth i know the 11 does so this is my brightness right now it's at 18 if i do increase it um the highest it can be is 24 and that's what it looks like at 24 which i think is quite great i'm gonna take it back to 18 or just above i'm gonna keep it at 15 it's not so bad and then I am going to press on all settings. Okay, that's how fast or slow it is, right? So it tells you your account is, is registered to you. Household and family, there's only one adult. My Wi-Fi is already set up. Um, airplane mode is off. Wi-Fi networks that I'm connected to is this one. I'm going to have to add my dad's one when I get home. My Bluetooth is off. And then it's, I'm just checking something quickly with the household, this device owner, it's got my name on it. I can add another person if I wanted to, if you can see down here. Okay. I don't think my camera wants you to see. So, uh, 
this account is registered to me okay 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 so it also shares your send to kindle email i know that this one is ideal for when um you want to send um pdfs to your kindle so it does take that as well um device options is the first one it says display cover show the cover of what you are currently reading on the lock screen i'm gonna say yes currently that's off i can't show you guys everything but i am gonna read through it device information about your kindle okay it's same is showing you the serial codes etc device passcode i'm not gonna actually have a passcode for this because it's not necessary um restart your kindle uh do you want to restart your kindle okay that's where you would go device options reset if you want to reset your kindle as well advanced options um advanced options um have device time home and library to view options of series and audible content um group series in library yes definitely audible content show how audible content is showing on your can choose how your audible content is showing on your kindle right now i hope they can give me an option where i don't have to okay audible books will be visible in the library and on the home screen Audible books will only be visible in the Audible filter in the library unless you have downloaded to this Kindle. I think I want that. Right now, I don't think I like the fact that they are showing with my physical books because it is slightly confusing even though it's written on there. I think I'm going to change that to Audible filter. And then, okay, uh, let's see update your kindle install the latest i want that to be automatic you're about to update your software i really don't want that to do that now but i really do, do want that to be automated if it can be whisper sync for books automatically use data for this device to provide um features through whisper sync this one is already enabled i don't know what whisper sync is so uh power saving a low power sleep mode to conserve battery that's already enabled privacy uh use personal information collected by this device's operation for marketing and i definitely don't want you to do that disable that thank you very please um storage manage storage space on your kindle uh this one says i've got this is definitely an eight gig so i don't know what they they use for like the actual device and then what you can add on but i know that the 8 gig says that you can have thousands of books on here so i'm not really pressed so right now it says i've got a few it says i've used 587 worth of my storage but i don't know the storage total is not really adding up for me but i'm just gonna monitor that and see um okay so then it says reading options that's the next thing i'm on it says page refresh refresh the display with every turn um page turn um uh, vocabulary builder remember dictionary searches ah uh, okay i'm gonna do the page reset i'm gonna enable that i'm gonna switch off the vocabulary builder and then language and dictionaries english united kingdom keypad uh dictionary set the default uh, chinese sort order to me and yes, again so um accessibility um voice view screen reader provides spoken feedback when you touch items when you touch no i don't want that on the screen okay that is off um invert black and white inverts inverts this text image and page colors on all screens i do think i'm having a slow moment because i don't know what that means so i'm gonna keep it at off um parental control no kids will be using this so um restrictions are not enabled which is fine and then there's a user guide okay that's all settings great um so now do, 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 do. how do i go home luckily the time and the date are correct so i don't need to set those up 
how do I go to the home page okay I see it now I see it now home home a place so I don't know anything about Kindle Unlimited okay I don't know if that means that they have um, what you might call it Oh, I see. Try unlimited reading and listening. Select from our 2 million. Okay, on wait. Select from our 2 million ebooks with Kindle unlimited free trial. So, that's a thing. I don't know if it includes Audible, but I did see that Audible is on. So, oh, my battery child, everything is against me. Audible is on spatial at the moment. So, I did tell you that mine is the type that has ads on the lock screen. It is the 6 inch um generation 10 and it is it has eight gigabytes it has eight gigabytes that can store about a thousand plus books and it is waterproof it is the paper white it is waterproof it is the paper white the battery is, and the battery is said to last for a few weeks right so uh i am gonna use net galley on here i've never been able to use it before because i hate reading on my phone so i'm gonna try that out i am trying out kindle unlimited as you can see and i am gonna take up the amazon audible um option for audiobooks and i'll come back to you guys after like a month to tell you how it went in case you were wondering she's not gonna be naked i did buy this little pouch with the purchase i want the transparent cover but it was so hard to find for this uh, model so i probably will look for it on sheen so i managed to get myself this instead for now where i can just slot in my kindle so that she is safe um let me slot her in now so there she is tucked away and i think this one is one of those smart covers that oh before it disappoints me yes it is one of those smart covers when you close it it sleeps when you open it it wakes up right did it sleep this video was a mission just in case you wanted to know otherwise thank you so very much for joining me let me end it off here and i'm so happy with this gift until next time i really do appreciate you guys for choosing me and i love you very very much bye now